start mr deputy chairman while speaking on the appropriation bill i would like to discuss a little disparity in the matter of the distribution of the allocations to the different states sir there are many backward states in this country including assam generally the allocation of the central grants for all these states is not i submit i in proportion to the needs or according to the income of the particular state the government of assam has in its present budget shown a deficit of nearly rupees 30 crores and it has also been stated that it is not possible to collect this amount within the state itself by additional taxation or otherwise As a matter of fact the government of Assam has been complaining to the center about the inadequacy or rather the disproportion in the grants made from the income tax collected from the resources in Assam and from the excise excise duties on tea jute etc as well as on petroleum sir until some more adequate finances are made available to that state from the resources of the state itself this deficit will go on and the development of this state would be hampered it is time something was done because it has been accepted as a principle that we should devote a little more attention towards the development of the backward people and the backward areas Assam is one of the most backward areas it is almost the most backward area and i think in the matter of giving finances the government of india should give a little more money for the development for the state that state is backward in many respects we have to see that this disparity that is there in this country and which is widening in certain places is removed as early as possible and to bring in more industrialization of the backward places assam being one such backward state there should be more consideration given to it then there is the question of communications in the state of assam some attempts have been made for developing communications in that state but no industrialist has yet been tempted to come to that state to start an industrial undertaking and take advantage of the immense natural resources of that state and utilize them for the benefit of that state and for that of the whole country so the development of communications in another important factor the development that has taken place is not at all enough and the pace of progress has to be much swifter so that the state could be brought on par with the other state the general complaint everywhere is that the posts and telegraphs department has not been very efficient or that it has deteriorated in efficiency in many places people have been complaining of not receiving telegrams in time and of not receiving their letters this is the case not only in assam but elsewhere also of course it depends on the efficiency of the people who are administering this department therefore i submit more attention should be given to the efficiency in this particular department so that people may ne- may not have the grievance regarding the receipt or delivery of telegrams and letters firstly i have to say something about the department dealing with the statistics the authenticity of these statistical information is always being questioned from all quarters generally we find that these statistics are collected from official papers and those official papers are not based on the actual facts for instance in the matter of agricultural production we have been hearing for a long time that there has always been an increase in production but actually only this year perhaps during all these 5 or 10 years has there been a little more production in agriculture but all these years we have been hearing from these statistical publications that production from agriculture has been increasing all these years as a matter of fact production was given going below our requirements so the statistics should be based on actual village inquiries and not on the papers submitted from the revenue office offices through their officers now i have to say a few words about some multi purpose river projects we have been told that the investigation for one multi purpose project has been going on in assam this investigation has been going on for the last 10 years or so and every 
ईयर सम मनी इज बींग अलॉटेड फॉर दिस पर्पज वी आर सरप्राइज दैट दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन हैज नॉट येट बीन कंप्लीटेड इन असम वी हैव बीन वेटिंग फॉर पावर ऑल दीज ईयर्स एंड इट हैज to come from the development of this project and this project alone can supply the power that assam so badly wants and assam is so backward in the matter of power supply i would like to draw the attention of the government to the necessity for expedition in respect of investigation of this project the work on this project should be stopped immediately so that the investigation may be carried out on proper lines without further delay Madam Deputy Chairman this discussion on the calling attention motion for textile industry has covered the whole gamut of the industry from the grower of cotton to all other sectors honorable members have covered the whole field and given a number of suggestions madam textiles is a very important industry in our country and it gives employment and work to millions and millions of people in the villages in the towns in the rural areas and in the cities government is fully aware of its importance in our national life for the economic social and every other point of view broadly there are three sectors of the industry the unorganized handloom sector the unorganized power loom sector and the unorganized mill sector madam you would have observed from the speeches made here that there are some inherent contradictions in the interests of the various sectors some members have in the same breath tried to support all the sectors and obviously there have been contradictions in their arguments and their presentation if you want higher prices for the cotton grower how can you expect reasonable prices of cotton yarn for the head loom and power loom sectors so because of this obvious contradiction there is a demand all over that the textile policy has failed and therefore it should be reviewed madam the textile policy was meant basically to reconcile the varying and at times conflicting interests of the various sectors and therefore it has not found favor with any one sector and all the sectors are more or less feeling dissatisfied this is bound to happen when you have a very balancing proposition like the new textile policy where the various interests have to be reconciled and given proper place the textile policy can be judged from there or four points of view and it has proved successful from those angles there has been an increase in overall cloth production there is an increase in per capita availability of cloth there is a great increase in exports and the rate of increase in the price of cloth has been minimal compared to the general rise in the cost of living it is very little just 2% as against more than 8% which means the common man is benefited he is getting more cloth at a very reasonable price compared to other consumer goods and other things that are available to him so while the difficulties that have been mentioned are real i would like to say that the policy has by and large succeeded in its aim and has proved quite satisfactory therefore to review it in a manner that would satisfy everybody is just not possible but as we go along we are trying to modulate this policy and implement this policy in a way in which we can give as much satisfaction to a sector which needs attention at a particular time so there is no question of this policy having been framed on account of pressures from the mill sector or the capitalists in the mill sector as has been said because they have suffered the most there has been increase in the production in the handloom sector increase in the production in the power loom sector but there is a fall in the production in the mill sector as has been said mills have been closed in ahmedabad and bombay if it were weighted in favor of the capitalists in the mill sector as it has been said why have they suffered the most so we have tried to do a very balancing exercise in this way and we will see that we try to protect everybody to the extent possible but why is it that all the sectors are suffering madam there is some basic difficulty in the whole situation which we have tried to go into there has been excess capacity in the weaving side and there has been fall in purchasing power because cause of the successive droughts and floods these are two important reasons as of now why all the sectors are suffering it has been said that the yarn prices have risen or the cotton prices have risen it has not contributed so much as it has been made out 
Now I will just come to some figures regarding the price of cotton. Cotton prices have risen pretty high but if you take the price rise so far as yarn is concerned it has not been as bad from June 1985 to September 1987 raw cotton prices rose by 62%. Cotton yarn prices during the same period increased by only 33%. We have been varying in our policies as we went along. First we decided to export cotton because last year there was a glut in cotton and we had to procure a larger amount of cotton from the producer at the minimum support price so we thought that a little export would help the producer and we allowed the export full stop over